Hello, welcome to uh, a campsite on the Isle of Wight. I'm clearing space for a new facilities block and there's an awful lot of goat willow that I need to get rid of, which is just horrible stuff. Some of it's thick, some of it's thin. Um, and uh, what we're gonna do is look at what's the best way to dispose of this. Obviously you have some logs um, and you have some which is just little sticks and you have some which is bushy rubbish. Um, and what we have here is a Jansen chipper. And what we have there is a shredder imported by Kilworth from Italy. It's a Negri. Both of them are PTO drive. We have a couple of tractors which we're going to be using. Uh, one is a 20 horsepower Chinese one, one of which is a 27 horsepower Ford with an ironic sticker. It's not powered by Cosworth, it's powered by Shabora. Uh, and uh, who's the video for? Well, the chainsaw is going to let you have that information. It's only a consumer chainsaw. This isn't for professionals. I'm sure you've got massive timber wolves and forced and all that shizzle. But when I was in the market for something to dispose of the waste from the campsite, I thought, right, what I need is a chipper to put it all through. Very quickly found, if you feed brambles and other litter to a chipper, it binds up in the rollers, doesn't feed it through, it's useless. Um, so I've gone out dangerously and bought a second-hand shredder um, which has turned out to be a fantastic purchase and we'll get into that a little bit more about what's the differences between the two during this video. Anyway, on with it. Okay, so I've opened up both of the machines. Um, this is the Jansen Chipper, and you can see there's quite a narrow drum here. It's um, got knives just on here, so when you feed stuff down, they hit the knives, they go through, they get beaten up and chucked back out up the spout. So that's what, one, two, three, four, maybe five knives, and then these massive bludgeoning things the other side. Um, and that's about it. So that's why it's quite large particle size. It's got quite a large gap to go through there. So that's the uh, the Janssen one. Knives are uh, obviously very robust because it's designed to take probably larger feed sizes. So to open that up, it's a single 19 mil bolt M12 and flip the top open. To open the Negri up, um, we've got a pair of M8s on here. We don't flip the spout open, we just open this plate here um, and then we can see inside. First of all we've got this screen which is preventing stuff from going up the spout until it's thoroughly smashed up. So that's that. We have a much wider drum in here as well um, and then you can see we have again big knives here um, which are very effective but the big difference big difference is just here we've got these evil hammers um, and they have uh, so they're double ended you can flip them over from uh, when you're done one side you can put them back on the other they are hard and steel and they have hooks on the end now I've seen smaller little petrol engine chippers and they just literally have bits of steel flat steel that flail around these have the hook on and I suspect this is what makes the difference plus obviously it's built like uh, a proverbial brick outhouse but we have one set of, no of hammers there another knife 
another set of hammers, another knife, and another set of hammers. I think that's three sets in there. Um, another difference between this and the uh, um, Janssen is that this is belt drive, so there's three um, A section belts in there. Goes through a PTO in gearbox, puts it into the drive for that. So I'm thinking it probably spins a lot quicker. No, I know it spins a lot quicker. Um, because the revolutions on the drum are reported by the no feed system and you are aiming to keep it about 3000 rpm on that drum um, and even with 20 horses chinese horses at that it does a cracking job of doing that there's one minor modification here because it's got wheels on the back so i can put it on the ground and roll it around there's actually a drawbar intercept that i've welded on the back there which has been fantastic because i do a lot of long lines um of uh, hedgerow and it's a lot of brambles that this thing just will not look at and this is why i've got a shredder because this if you feed it brambles it just chews them up and uh wraps them around everything and blocks up so that's why i've got this thing so uh yeah on this it's literally straight drive 540 rpm big ass flywheel um straight from the tractor's shaft into that so it's lower speed much lower speed 540 rpm and um, chips bigger stuff um, but doesn't really want to look at the smaller stuff so there's the internal differences i already talked about the feed roller differences oh the other thing is this relies on the tractor's hydraulics on a spool valve which is just fine on this 1720 because that's got that this one um, actually has an internal hydraulic system so you've got a reservoir with hv46 in the back here um, along with the electronics for the feed system um, and that's driven off the back of the drum um, and that uh, again very good very impressive system uh, absolutely love it but uh, from new you'd be looking at a lot more than uh, than paying for the Janssen but second hand they're comparable and uh, I'm very impressed with it very impressed with it indeed Okay, the upshot of a bit of shredding and a bit of chipping is that I'm now going to wind up with three products. Logs for campers to be sold, to burn, which won't burn very well because they're willow, but when they're dry they burn nicely enough. Um, and then I'm going to wind up with bright chippings, which come out the chipper. And then what I'm not going to wind up with is this that comes out the chipper because I'm not going to be feeding it the uh, fine stuff because it just goes straight through it's rubbish and um, what I'll be doing is putting it all in to the shredder which gives us this nice fine dense stuff which is much heavier per bag as well which will wind up as compost which is handy because we're on heavy duty clay soil and uh, we always need compost so there you go quick bit of analysis between a Janssen chipper and a Negri shredder imported by Kilworth Hope it's been useful to you.